Let me get out of here. It's noisy out today. Bunch of people all of a sudden is tired to uh, start shooting. I guess they're getting ready for deer gun season. Uh, bow season already started here in Mississippi. It started on the 1st of October. So, what do we do? Though, so, uh, Saturday we went to, uh, Brianna was at a girls retreat. Uh, so the boys and me and mom, we went to a air show, first year air show. So there wasn't a whole bunch, whole bunch there. There might've been 20 planes, a couple helicopters and a hot air balloon that wasn't doing anything cause it was too windy. So we went to that, uh, took some pictures and video of some planes. So today is Sunday. I had to get under the deck here and fix a couple boards had come loose because I used two small screws on them. So I had to go back through there with some bigger screws and fix that up. Here, a motorcycle in the background. What we got here, we have a Beta Brewing Wrought Iron IPA, Indian Pale L, 6.9% alcohol by volume. 6.9, that's pretty good. I don't think I've had this one. It came in a variety pack uh, that had the Andy Gator. We've done the Andy Gator on here. That's a good beer. That's one of my favorites. Um, the Amber. I don't know if I've done the Amber on here. Then it had Purple Haze and the Strawberry one. We've done the Strawberry one. Uh, I wasn't too big of a fan of it. So, without further ado, a Beta Brewing Wrought Iron IPA. 6.9% alcohol brew and bottled by Abita Brewing Company, LLC, Abita Springs, LA. The famous wrought iron balconies of New Orleans remind us of why this city will always endure. We're strong, resilient, and always ready for a good time. Wrought iron IPA is forged with the intensity of Apollo Eucanaut and mosaic hops and brewed with pale malt to create a golden India pale ale that stands above the crowd. <sighs> India pale ale. I hear Xander in the background yelling. One of his siblings is probably aggravating him. I just went in there and busted their butts for yelling. A lot of good that did, huh? Mom came out here and worked on the flower bed pulling weeds while I was under that thing. Uh oh. Wow. Holy smokes. Forgot to do the, the sniff test. Hmm. Got people looking at me weird. Keep driving. Smell? I my my smeller's not really working all that great right now. But that first sip, it's an IPA. But it tastes good. So it's finally fallish weather. Uh, it was like, uh, I think it got down to about 39 degrees early in the morning, but it got back up to about 74. So it's, uh, it's still got a little toasty, but uh, this here is pretty refreshing for that toasty, toasty weather. The sun, we have no trees in the front yard. Except for the little ones I transplanted, which are only maybe max three feet tall, so they don't offer any shade. So this front side of the house gets real hot. So it's still toasty over here. So this says it's IPA, 
but this may be one of the better IPAs I've tried. Um, it's not over harsh. It's still a little bit smooth. One thing I will say is it kind of dries my mouth out after the end of it. Leaves my mouth feeling kind of dry. Uh, other than that, though, I think this is really good. If you're wanting to try an IPA for the first time, this may be another one of those good starter ones. Okay? I like it. I'd have I would have another one of these. Would I pick a six pack up? I don't know about picking a six pack of this up. But uh if I ever went over to somebody's house and they offered me another one, I would definitely try another one. Not too shabby. Um so that being said, what's the rating gonna be? Huh <sighs> For an IPA, I might give this a 7. On a bad day, maybe a 6. Good day, 7. Okay? It's that good of an IPA. Now then, is it as good as Andy Gator? A beta Andy Gator? No. Andy Gator's still my favorite of the Abita beers. And one of my overall favorites. So, pick you one of these up go outside and do some work um, it's a good beer thanks for watching pretty good now I gotta finish putting these boards back on